Hello, hi, my name is Anthony Pham. I am the product support manager here at Quizcom. In this webinar, I will demonstrate with Quizcom Repeating Rows app how you can easily create multi row forms such as expense forms in Office 365 without any need for technical knowledge. We are just working with out of the box SharePoint lists and Repeating Rows app. The Repeating Rows app is part of Quizcom Forms app, which allows you in SharePoint 2013 and Office 365 to easily implement multi-role forms such as expenses, purchase orders, timesheets, and other custom logic type forms. This app enables non-technical end users to easily create multi-role forms without having to use any additional external form tools such as InfoPath. Creating multi-row forms is as simple as adding a column to a list and I'll show you that. Before I begin, here's a little information about Quizcom. Quizcom specializes in SharePoint add-ons and solutions. Our product catalog includes over 40 products. Each product we make solves an everyday SharePoint challenge. And let's face it, we all face a few uh, SharePoint challenges in our career. Quizcom helps solve these SharePoint challenges by offering SharePoint web parts, apps, add-ons designed to resolve these issues, which brings us all here today. If you ever had to work with common forms such as expenses and working hour reports in SharePoint, then you probably implemented these forms using InfoPath. These multi-role forms are very helpful for data entry and logistic forms. However, Microsoft has already announced they will discontinue its uh, InfoPath electronic form product. So, what does this mean? This means that InfoPath 2013 is the last release of the desktop client and InfoPath form services in SharePoint Server 2013 is the last release of InfoPath form services. This is a major concern for many organizations maintaining existing InfoPath forms. Also, users would be hesitant about investing their time in a discontinued product. Some other challenges are, if you do plan to go ahead with InfoPath, is you need to invest time and money in, into training users to design InfoPath forms. Common forms such as expense reports can be only implemented by using InfoPath or by developing custom forms. Both these options require significant investment of time and budget, such as hiring developers to develop these custom forms or training users on the InfoPath platform. By using out-of-the-box list forms, the Repeating Rows app helps SharePoint users leverage their investment in SharePoint with no additional development costs or long training. So with Repeating Rows app, you can easily and quickly create multi-role forms on Office 365 and SharePoint on-premise, and there's no need for InfoPath. The app enables non-technical end users to easily create multi-role forms such as expense reports and purchase orders. And there's no need for any complicated tools that require power user skills. Business users can quickly create multi-role forms. It's as simple as adding a column to your list. So here are the main uh, key benefits and features of the Repeating Rows app. It enables you to add and edit a list item along with multiple connected items from a remote list. This does not require InfoPath. You can connect between a master list and a detail list, such as uh, expense report and expense details, which I will demonstrate with you later on on my Office 365 site. You can configure the amount of empty rows in the new form such as default rows uh, that appear. You can configure summary calculated fields. Uh, for numeric fields, you can configure summary fields that you want to display below the repeating rows field. And I'll show you this in my demonstration. 
summary fields are also available in the list view, which is very helpful if you're designing uh, designer workflows. Uh, you can reference these fields uh, and create your business processes. And of course, it's uh, cross browser uh, and it's supported on all the major browsers. Before I begin my demo, here's a data model diagram of how repeating rows works. Before you create a repeating rows column, you need to have your connected lists, uh, a master list and a detail list uh, created and connected together. For this example, I have an expense report and expense detail uh, list. The expense report can have uh, many expense detail items. Uh, so for my expense report list, it has the report title and the expense details. In my expense details list, it has such expense detail fields such as date, amount, expense type. Here is how the actual report looks. It is connected to the expense details. So let me just show you on my Office 365 site what the finished form looks like. So as you can see, here's my repeating rows and I'll show you how to configure this shortly. So now I'll uh, demonstrate you how to configure the repeating rows um, forms. Uh, as I showed you in my uh, data model diagram of the expense report and expense detail list. So let's go back to my Office 365 site. So this is how the expense report list with re, uh, repeating rows column uh, looks after it's been configured. So now I'm going to um, create a new list called expense report and I'll configure it uh, so the end results is how it was displayed to you. So the expense report list is the, the master list and it will be looking up the expense detail list which is the child list and here's our expense details list and has the following fields date amount expense type and uh, approved where the expense report list is the master list with the repeating rows column I will now create it and configure the repeating rows for you to see to do this you simply uh, go to the ribbon on the list and click on the repeating rows button here. This will bring up the repeating rows app homepage. And I'll go through all the settings and configurations. Here I can select an existing repeating rows column or edit an existing one. So I will create a new column and I will call it expense details. This opens up uh, additional options for me. For the how many rows should this column have for new items, I defined how many uh, rows should this column have in the new form. I can dynamically add or remove these rows as well. Any unfilled rows will not be saved. I can also enable users to add uh, new roles or uh, if I uncheck this, this will disable that feature. In the select target list drop down menu, you, you're going to select the details list from the current subsite. So here's my extents details list. In the select column to see in repeating rows selection menu, I enter all the available fields in the expense detail list that I want to display 
uh, in the repeating rows field in the expense report list. So I'll select everything. Once you select the columns, it will be added to the preview below. You can configure the total fields of each column in the preview table, such as uh, total expense claims and total expense amount. So I'll do that now. For the expense type, I'll use a counter and I'll call this column total expense claims. And for the amount, I'll use a sum total and I'll call this total expense amount. Let's save these settings and see the result. Okay, let's add new items and uh, create a new expense report item. Here is my expense report form with repeating rows field. I can easily input my data and use common fields such as lookup, choice, date, and more. If I need to add more expenses than the default three rows, I can add more by clicking uh, this link here, the add row link. Or if I want to remove uh, some rows, I can just click on the X here. Also, any empty rows will not be saved. So let's enter some uh, expense details. Select a month. I ate at Denny's that uh, that conference, uh, and this is all approved. And of course, parking. Always need to pay for parking. And as you can see, uh, my sum total fields are dynamically calculated as I filled in uh, the items. So let's save. So my item is saved, as you can see here. The summary fields that I created, remember the total expenses and total expense amount, they can be displayed in this list view here. All you have to do is modify the view to display them. So let me do that. Okay, there we go. And uh, as I mentioned before, the the adding these total columns to your list view can be very helpful uh, because you can reference them in your SharePoint designer workflow, which will be very helpful in automating business process for your expense forms. So let's go to our expense detail list. As you can see, my uh, items for conference B uh, have been added. And that ends my demonstration. 
as you can see, I was easily able to create repeating rows forms with a few clicks of the mouse. And I did it within a couple of minutes. And so can you too. And it didn't require any uh, info path or custom development. Uh, all you need is uh, out of the box SharePoint list and our repeating rows app. So let me continue from the slides. So in summary, you, there's no technical knowledge required to create these repeating rows. Uh, you don't need info path. You can use out of the box SharePoint forms. End users will be very comfortable and familiar using it since it's just uh, working with the ribbon menu. You can create common forms such as expenses and working hour reports easily. And this is bundled with QuizCom Forms Professional Edition if you're interested in other form features. So that ends my webcast. Thank you for attending. If you have any questions, please email me at anthony at quizcom.com. Thank you for your time.